Hey guys, this is Maliha and in this video I want to show you how to republish your blog posts on Medium using a canonical link. So um, this is my Medium as you can see and I'm not going to go over the whole pros and cons of republishing your content or what a canonical link is, what it does, etc, etc because I wrote an entire blog post on that topic and I'm going to link the blog post down below in the description so if you're not sure what I'm talking about go ahead and read the blog post and that will clear up um, some of these definitions and pros and cons and etc etc anyway so sometimes you may want to republish your blog post that you may have published on your WordPress blog or Squarespace or wherever you blog to your Medium account and to do that, you can do it a couple of ways. The first one, the easier one that I do not recommend is if you go to, um, if you click your profile picture and go to stories and then click import a story, then you can just import, you can paste your original blog post URL, click the import button and that imports the story. But the reason I don't recommend it is because when you do it that way, it backs up your publish date on Medium to the original blog post's publish date. Um, and what happens is that when it's backed up, so for example, if your original blog post was published a few weeks ago or a few months ago, on Medium, it will show up as though even on Medium it was published that long ago. And that's not good because Medium prioritizes fresh content. So for example, if you go to the following link on the home page, it shows you um, the writers you follow and their latest blog posts. So if I publish a blog post today, but it, it's dated back to, I don't know, a month ago or, you know, a, to a date a few months ago or a few weeks ago, that blog post on Medium is not going to show up as though it were published now or recently. It's going to be backed up. No one will see your post. Your followers won't be able to see it. And basically, your post is not going to get a lot of views or reads. So I don't recommend using the import feature to import your story on Medium. Instead, do it this way. Just go to write, like click the write button right here on your homepage, and then copy and paste your original post like you would any new post on Medium. And then once you copy and paste, maybe, you know, tweak a little bit or whatever. If you have to make updates, do that. And then publish it like you would any new post on Medium or any new story on Medium. And once you publish it, once the story is published, that's when you go and change the canonical link to the original post. And let me show you how to do that. So I have recently republished one of my blog posts, this one that I had originally published on my blog, The Side Blogger. I actually published it just a few minutes ago, so um, it's a fresh blog post showing up on Medium as though it's a brand new content, even though the original was published on my blog a few months ago. And then to change the canonical link, I will go to the three dots, click it, and then click Story Settings. And then I will click Advanced Settings. And then here you can see advanced settings. So you have to click it again. So a bit of redundancy there. Um, and then as you can see, I have already set up my canonical link. However, had I not set up the canonical link, this is how it would show up. It would show up as though there is no canonical link. So you, when you click the advanced settings, you'll have to click this checkbox. It says the story was originally published elsewhere. And when you check it, that's when it shows up. That's when it shows you um, the original link um, place. Basically, you can paste the original link here. And when you do that, uh, let's see. Actually, no, that's not the original post. Um, where did my original post go? Let me see. My original post was short form. This one. This is the original blog post on my website. So I will copy it and then I'll go ahead on medium and then paste it right here. And then I will click the green button that says save canonical link. And that's it. That's how you save a 
canonical link on a republished content on Medium. And again, if you're not sure why you have to update canonical link and all that, then please read the blog post I linked below and that will clarify all of that. And that's it. Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.